Hi, Tina O and everyone at TinaOLive.com. I am Tara Cafell, a relationship coach. I normally write a column for Tina each week, but this is a little different. I'm actually going to make a little movie for you. You're welcome. Um, so I'm in my car and... And I'm not driving, so just relax your little selves there. I'm not driving. I'm not subjecting anyone to my um, supreme distraction. I am parked. And so what I want to talk about today is spring cleaning. Huh. So I'm in my car because it is loaded up with stuff. <laughs> stuff. All kinds of stuff. I've got um, some furniture back here. I've got a cheap Ikea painting that's going to donation. Um, I have like a crazy racing suit for motorcycles that that's going to a place to get sold or something. I've got a camping chair. I've got a toaster oven. You know, and as a sidebar, if you want any of these things, you could just message me right now. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you where I dropped them off because I'm not saving them for you. Um... And so it's spring. It's spring, right? It's freaking beautiful. It's sunny. I think it's like 20 degrees here in Vancouver. And it's time to sort of get ready. So of, of course I need to make this about relationship. And so I'm going to do that. Um, how it's about relationship is what do you need to spring clean? What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to make space for? Um, as a family, I love making this assignment for my families to, you know, talk about um, what do we want to do this summer? Maybe make a list of the fun things that you want to all do together, the places that you want to go, the camping trips you want to have. You know, by now you've probably planned out your actual vacations and what that looks like. But like, what else do you want this summer to look like? Because um, there's lots of time in between the big things, right? Like if you're all going to Disneyland, that's great. But like, what about, you know, the weekends and the evenings? Do you want to all commit to going for a bike ride together? It's a lot easier to do that when we have less responsibility and less crap and less mm, stuff at home, right? So um, here's the theme of the day. It's spring cleaning. What can you get rid of? What can you sell or donate or tidy up or sweep up um, and toss out and make space for a fun summer as a family, as a couple um, who is, you know, committed to each other and, and having a great time. So that's what we're doing at my house is we're cleaning out the stuff. We're making so much space. Um, I'm probably, uh, or we are probably moving, I would hope, within the next eight weeks or so, um, buying a property. And so getting ready for that feels really, really good, right? And being, you know, sort of mighty and small and tight. And so that's my plan. So there we go. And here's your invitation, right? Is spend some time this week and doing some spring cleaning. You know, hurl some stuff out. Clean out those winter clothes because you don't actually need them anymore. You can keep a sweater because, you know, it might rain. Well, it will rain, let's be clear. <laughs> um, but you can, you know, graduate and keep out the warm spring things and get rid of the winter stuff. You can tuck away the boots finally. It's no longer appropriate to wear your boots. Uh, we're heading into the first long weekend of the year very, very soon. Um... So yeah, what can you clean out? What can you get rid of? What can you put in the garage or put into storage? Or better yet, just get out of your house. Um, and even I went through the kitchen cabinets to go, okay, these little plates with the cute little pig face on them. I never use these plates because they're actually sort of small and useless. So let's give them away. Boom. Um, I cleaned up the fridge. That felt good too, just to use those things up. So think about where you can get clean and streamlined and spring into spring as a couple, as a family, and then make the summer really good. Just make it fun and make it what you want it to be. Um, you know, if you're busy and you, you've got a lot going on and I get that and we're rounding up to, you know, the end of school for kids who are in school, um, now is the time to just really be intentional about how you're spending it so it doesn't go by in a whir and you don't look up in August and go, oh my God, school's starting again and what did we do? I don't like for that to happen to you. That time is going to pass, so let's be intentional about what we do um, and have a wish list of places we want to go and maybe it's just to have dinner in a park once a week. 
right? To escape to the beach. We did that this past weekend and just packed a picnic and went to the beach. It was beautiful. It was a nice little break from some stress. So enjoy. Um, so Tina O people, that's me signing off for this week. I hope that you, um, I hope they have some fun and, and now I'm off to like make some donations. Boom. I just started the car. Oh, and we've disappeared. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll see you next week and I will be writing again next week. So, uh, do come and join me and, uh, I'm sure I'll have something interesting to say by then. Okay. Bye.